see it until you say go live right there. They've already said they can't hear but us or see no. us. No, when this is, when, before I do that or this, oh, that's yeah. when they can just jump in the room. It's just a blank room. Okay. But yeah. I hit that. Because it says in stream now. Oh, well, what's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? This is Scoop of Loop. It's Sunday, Sunday. Sunday morning. What's up, JJ? Yay, yay. I'm going to try this for the first time. Zero sugar. Monster Ultra Paradise. That is not bad. He's All right. so funny. Wow. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cute. Definite return. Y'all ever wear jeggings? Cause they look like this. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Hey kitty cat. Hello, everybody. Look at that. We got somebody from Australia already. Monica, how are you? Roxy. Monogramming. Excuse me. Green salutations from Alabama. Dar. How's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's Sunday's just chill. Take it easy, Sunday. Summer Solist. It sounds like a, a uh, <clears throat> sounds like a a dance festival. Hello from Houston. What's up, Rachel? We love Houston. Is that monogramming plus a new person? Because that's a, that's the first I've seen that that uh, that name. If you're new, welcome. If you are a um, if you're if you've been around, thanks for being around. <laughs> Ah, longest day. We got storms. Yeah, there were supposed to be storms rolling through here. It got really, it got really sideways yesterday, and then last night a little bit, and then it sprinkled today, and now it's sunny and beautiful out. <laughs> it's weird. What's up, Clara? cranky internet. <laughs> Maybe you need to feed it. What? Their internet. <laughs> all right. All right, all right. So I'm going to paint some shoes today. Paint some of these here. Air Force Ones for someone. Should be fun. It's, it's a very classy, very... Um, it shouldn't be too difficult, but then again, this is rounded stuff, so I'm, I'm not, uh, got to be very careful with taping stuff off because I want stuff to stay white in areas, if you get my drift. Yeah, that's just, we keep this on when when uh, we're doing the opening scene just so that people can know that we're we haven't started yet so yeah 
we always our screen is always like this at the first it just kind of lets people know that we haven't started and we're just kind of getting intros and all that fun stuff so but as soon as I drop the logo we shall be fine let me pop this chat out we have to move this over here and uh, we can get this uh, let's get this party started painting these uh, Air Force Ones we got some uh, we got some pale blue which I don't like that name um, it's more of a light blue we've got a periwinkle and we got a dark blue and some gold leaf it should be interesting should be fun should be classy it's gonna be amazing. let's do this Apologize if I'm not looking up reading. I will. I'll try to do that every now and again. Thank you, Holly's Art House. Yes, please subscribe. Please hit that thumbs up. We're almost to 40,000 subscribers. Very exciting for us. I swear we were just at 30. Like probably a month ago, I think. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy. I love it though. All right. First things first. Let's make some room here. Let's finish this cookie. Second thing second. Finish the cookie. Then we'll do first thing first. All right. As you can see, I already took the uh, shoelaces out. Now, for the least fun part, is uh, you take some acetone, or I can take, I'm gonna try to use some of this. Maybe it's not as, we're gonna smell it, because I think it's just the same as acetone, but this is the uh, Angelus. I hope I'm saying that right. If anybody out there knows how to say that, is it Angela's or Angelus? Or I don't know. Oh, that smells just like acetone. So it's basically the same. Since I bought that from them, I'm going to go ahead and use it. So what you do, get some cotton. Get these here little things put a couple of them together so we can um, what you want to do is just take all of the the protectingness or the what is it what would that be called for what take all the, the finish yeah the finish off oh if you guys are wondering this is what I'm gonna do Um, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do that to both sides. I might just do, um, the gold leaf on the outside of both shoes. Um, the drip, I'm going to do it on the outside of both shoes, but on the inside, I'm not sure. It really depends on how this goes. This is a test because I'm going to be using sizing for that. I'm kind of scared. We got Nene, we got Vamp. What's up, y'all? All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just, I'm just gonna go along every part that I'm gonna be painting. So as you can see, no. well, I don't need to do that. Mm -hmm. I might paint that though, we'll, we'll have to see. I might paint that light blue just to no, because I think it'll look nice. Because if I leave this and I leave that, I might paint this. So let's just uh, 
We'll just clean the outsides. We're gonna clean the toes because we're gonna put some gold leaf on the toes. Is that really that blown out? Is that pretty blown out, y'all? I need a mask. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> just wanted to gauge our interest. Then I'm gonna turn it off. See if this helps. If not, I'm gonna put my my bigger mask on. I always want to make sure yeah this is no different. I don't know why I would, I would think that. This, this acetone, it's basically acetone is what they have too. It is not good to deal with y'all. So if you just stepped in the room, I am putting my mask on, so I better put this on first, uh, to clean these shoes off with some acetone. Acetone is not fun stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and just wear a mask for that, and um, so I won't be speaking. So talk amongst yourself. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please subscribe. Please hit that thumbs up. Um, what else is there? Oh, we have a class coming up, so you guys can talk about that on the 25th. Um, we've already taken down the kit to order unless you want to order it and pick it up. That's about the only way you can get it because we don't want to risk it not getting to you on time. So um, the Pour With Us kit is this 25th at 8 p.m. Let us know if you want to get a kit and pick it up. We're here in Dallas, Texas. I'm going to do something a little different. Whoops. I think I'm going to sand the, the toes. No, I'm not going to do that. That's a lot better. <laughs> Did I get all that? I feel like I didn't. Can they hear you with that mask on? I'm not talking to them yet. You can hear me? How can you hear me? I don't know. Babe, did we get a text message from Rachel Snyder? 
What about the poor class? I don't know if I would do that. Let's, let's just do that just in case. I don't know if I have to say. We want to do that. Let's see. We don't have to paint that area if we don't want to. Maybe that's what we should do to get the cats to calm down. Just let them fly into the house. <laughs> to the side just in case all right so now taping time let's put the lid on this I feel like I need to clean my contacts maybe all right So since I'm going to do the I'm going to do the gold leaf last. I'm going to do the airbrush second. I'm going to put the light blue down first. I'm going to tape this off. I'm going to tape the sole off. And I'm using uh, some like it's very very stretchy tape which is good because for stuff like this you can bend it around and do it all in one take I thought about doing this I thought that would look kind of classy the only thing I'm worried about is using the paint pen on that small part and it's staying shiny, you know? So, I don't know. Or I can try to do it in paintbrush with sizing and do gold leaf, which that would be. Well, Rebecca, when, you, when, you, when you're doing shoes, taping is a must. Taping, it's it's prep. You you, you always you always want to prep. You definitely want to um, take the time and tape up area that you do not want paint. And in this case, 
these soles, you do not want paint on these soles. So tape them up. Um, I'm not going to tape up uh, this Nike swoosh because it's going to get covered in uh, gold leaf. So no need for that. Um, I'm going to leave this part white. So I'll put, um, it's a different type. It's a little bit, a lot wider. So you can get it all in pretty just one one hit and just cut it with X-Acto blade to make it. We'll leave that on there the entire time. We won't need to tape this up. We might want to tape these up, depending on if I want to paint them or not. So we'll see. All right, let's just get to taping this up. This is always a little difficult because um, it's rounded. And you really want to get it as close as possible. And it's always difficult for me to where are my glasses at? My glasses over here? Oh, hold on a second. Let me get my glasses. Gotta get up close. get in close here no, let's bring it to an angle so I don't up close and personal uh, no this is not masking tape this is a very stretchy tape I just I got it on Amazon um, as you can see, I'm just going to ruin a piece here. Like, it stretches, so you can actually bend it around or bend it inward. Um, and that's perfect for doing stuff like this. It bends inward and around. Like this other tape that I'll be using, uh, it, d it doesn't bend, obviously, the scotch tape the painter's tape it doesn't bend very well so what here let's just tape this part off anyways so I'll show you an easy way to tape off this section here because I don't want any tape on here so what I like to do is just over tape it basically what you're doing Just go over where you plan on taping. So we're going to leave the tape on the inside here. Do we know where my X-Acto blade is? For some reason, none of them are up here. Let me look over here. My exacto blade. For my exacto blade, which I don't know why it's not over here. There it is, way over here. <clears throat> All right, yeah. I love this exacto blade because it has a light on it, which I'm not sure why I need a light, but why not? I always use a new exacto because I want to cut fast, I want to cut straight, and I want to get this out of the way. <clears throat> All right, so we're just going to put this tape over it.
All my stuff is here. I don't know why. All right. <clears throat> so I'm just going to push this tape right up against these corners here. See that? So I literally just have an outline right here to where I need to cut out. What is he doing? Hey, psst. Dude, these cats are terrorizing when they look for stuff, when they're like chasing a fly. Oh my gosh, I can't deal with these cats right now. Who wants free, two free kittens? They're about three months old. So we wanna cut this right up against this and this edge here so that the tape will go flush with the Nike symbol. Here. Because we do not want any paint getting down in there. Or not. <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta cut that. I didn't cut that. Remember, I don't I'm not really worried about the Nike symbol being painted cuz it's going to have gold leaf on it. You see, we got a nice little barrier there so no paint should get down there. And if you do get a little white, touch it up, it'll be all right. Right now she is on the hunt for a fly and she's coming this way. No, you better stay off here. Hey, she don't even care. She don't even care. She don't care. <laughs> so let's do this with the same. I'm just gonna barely overlap that so I know that I, uh, I'm not gonna get a little perfect little line right there if I don't get tape on it. So I'm, I'm taping this off first so that when I tape this down, I know I'm not gonna miss any part right here. Cause this dip here really gives you trouble when you're taping stuff off, if you're not uh, careful with that. I'm just gonna leave that, I'm just gonna leave that in there there. And see, when you have a brand new blade, man, it's, there's nothing best. As you know, you're going to get a nice, uh, a nice crease, a nice cut, and your paint will look super nice when you are done. You just, you want to touch up. Uh, at the end, you you really don't want to touch up, like m very minimal, minimal cleanup, minimal touch ups. That that way, you know you've done an awesome job on taping up. See, there's a part there. I don't like that. You guys see that? Right there. I'm not, I'm not happy with that. This paint will get in there because I'm going to be doing airbrush. Although, what is this, outside? Nope, this is inside. So I'm going to put this down. I'm just going to cut another piece. I don't like that. I'm just going to follow this. 
I could probably just keep that tape on there. It's not going to matter. There we go. All right. So now that we have that taped, let's do this side. Do this a lot faster. You guys talking about cats? Awesome. So if you're wondering why I'm I'm leaving the I'm not cutting out the Nike symbol or I'm gonna paint this gold with a gold pen. I'm gonna paint the gold the uh, Nike symbol with gold pen and just put gold leaf over it. So I do not need to worry about that. All I'm taking is just this pin, pushing that down there. Babe, should we tell them about the two-faced or no? Just wait. Something fun is happening in the next probably week and a half. You guys are going to love it. You're going to love it, love it. La 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 Of course, I don't want to do that. care about that part right there because it's going to get painted. Mm, our cats are cool about what do you say? 70% of the time when they're sleeping or when they're just chilling and then they just start getting in this crazy explore mode like there's two modes super three <laughs> chill sleeping they're fun explore mode that's what gets them kind of in trouble because they we have so much stuff up high here um and so it's like they just want to see. They just want to get to the highest point of everything in here. And we have stuff up to probably 8 to 10 feet high. And it's just... They don't need to be going up there. And that's why we didn't get a kitten a long time ago. Because I knew that uh, it would be like that. I'm just going to go ahead and tape up these, these lace holes here. But we don't have to mess with those. Then I approved the labels. Oh yeah, okay, cool. So 
See? I always forget about those darn labels. Thank you, Booger. And happy Father's Day to all y'all out there. Happy Father's Day to the single mothers. These guys, um, okay, and then the third one is hyper, just hyper crazy. I must get to point A to point B, uh, the quickest, the, f the, the uh, easiest, and the unsafest way. Can you guys see that? I don't want to. I think I might paint the insides just because I think that'll look amazing. So we might just have to close off that area. Oh yeah, and I got, uh, for this client here, um, she buys a lot of stuff from us. I'm not sure if she wants people to know these are her shoes, but um, I bought her a surprise to add to this. I'm not going to say just in case she's watching. But it's a fun surprise. I like to add certain extra little fun things when it comes to uh, decorating stuff. And I, I like to decorate the box too if I do a pair of shoes for somebody. It's always fun. Order is in production will arrive Tuesday, June 30th. Sweet. Alright, there we go. We are set for this side. Might as well just put tape on that. I'm just going to tape up that Nike symbol. <laughs> I don't know why. I just, I'm going to do that just to, so that I know that it's nice and tight, taped up. I don't have to let it dry when I want to do something to it, so. It's just, when you don't, when you know something's going to get covered, you really don't have to paint it, or you don't have to tape it off, because it's gonna be covered regardless. But since I've taped this part off, I might as well tape off the rest of it. And so yeah, so far so good, so so. So anybody working on anything today? Let's see. If you're new to the channel, I would love for you to say hi. If you've uh, if you've never typed, I would love for you to say hi. If you're too shy, that is completely 100% okay with us. You can sit back and watch and uh, just hang out. Not a problem. We we don't we don't mind people that just kind of hang out and watch from afar. Um, I used to do that until I got my own channel, and then I was like, I'm going to say something. <laughs> sometimes people see you, sometimes they don't, but 
Oh well, what are you gonna do? Um, if you're new to the channel, I'd love to know um, how you found us. I would love to know where you're from, and I would let you know there's no dumb questions on our channel. Every time I hear that phone go off and we're live, I'm like, great, now what? Are we not live anymore? Sorry if I get that out of camera view. You guys always make sure you tape up everything when you're using airbrush or spray paint because it will find a way to get to where you don't want it. That's why I, I love, I don't mind taping up. I know it's it takes a while and you guys are just sitting here being awesome and talking amongst yourself. Um, because it's like, it's like making a stencil, you know? It takes you two hours to make the stencil and then you put it on the canvas and spray it and you're done. You're like, that took me two minutes to paint that. Two hours and 20 minutes to paint that. Think about it that way. We have it. Did we get it from Amazon? Um, yeah, I think. I, I don't know. No, I went and got it at uh, Rec Shop. So I'm going to be painting the inside of these shoes. I'll probably do them this pale blue color. So I'm taping off this tongue because I want the tongue to stay white. So we're going to tape that off. I'm really excited about doing this this fade. I haven't seen a lot of people do fade on on here. On uh, I follow I follow about five guys that do um, custom shoes. Two of them I love. One of them he doesn't speak English, but I love to watch his videos. Like, he's so creative. Like, yeah, man, he does some amazing work. And I, I apologize, I can't think of his name, but I will definitely um, let you know if you really want to know his name. I can literally just look it up right here. Um, if this works, it's going to be so amazing. Like, why wouldn't it work, right? For the geo kit. Well, now that you've interrupted me while I was talking. Sorry. <laughs> you got your glasses on? You're wearing them? Mm-hmm. <laughs> look like two old people. Hello. How are you today? That's better. That's better. <laughs> so, for the geo... Since we market it as... Everything you need right in this box. I should have said two elderly people. I, I didn't mean to say old people. I apologize if I've offended somebody. Hmm. Hmm. Like it should work, right? I don't see why not. What what, what are you what are you worried about not working? Lip pipettes. So when I sent with Gabe like a sample of it, I put it in like um one of my little jars, my little sample thing. Is that our Too Faced? This is liquid gold. Oh. Oh. I don't know. It might work. I don't see why not. Thanks, y'all. So I'm trying to figure out a way to do this piece. 
So after I'm done with this, I'm really going to get on that other one. I like to tape them all off at, at, at once so that I can paint them all at the same time. I'm not a fan of taping off painting and then starting over. I, I'm not a fan of that whatsoever. I would just really like to have them all taped off and ready to go. So this piece has liquid gold on it. I'm trying to figure out how to get that to you guys in this complete kit. I ordered these little teeny tiny mini. All right, I so bet. I'm gonna I'm gonna go over where I need to tape. Normally I would try to I would try to just ride this line, but it's so it's pretty difficult to tell right where the line meets the leather. And plus this bending, you're definitely going to get, you don't want to leave a piece of tape over this white since it's going to get painted because you cut this and then you paint it and then you peel this bottom part off. There's going to be a big old piece of white and this is a fade and I do not want that whatsoever. So I'm not going to pull this tape too tight. I'm just going to, I'm just going to overlap where I'm going to be cutting it so that I know um at least this part's protected and then when i when i cut this line i know exactly where i'm cutting it and it'll be nice and even i actually think you could use the heat gun if you have a really like a really bendy part that you really want to make sure you tape off See, that's how much that bends. You see that? I just go straight and it just goes straight off of there. You guys, is that too blown out? Let me let me just turn that down just a little bit for y'all. That looks like it's very blown out. There we go. And I apologize, I didn't even look up to see if anybody was new or... I'm old and proud. <laughs> nay, nay. I will be 50 in August. The big 5 O's coming up, y'all. I have no plans. I'm not going to waste that, so now I'm going to take this right here and go around the back side here, overlap this tape so we know that we're not missing any spots. I'll probably do this first to, the, to that other one, just because this one, this normally takes a little bit longer. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to take my pen, I'm just going to hit this crease right here so I know exactly where I need to cut in here. I, I have a, um, a stylist. I don't know where that little stylist is. Stylist For some reason, up. all my little stylist things are, no, my little push pins. My like little push. Oh, they're, they're in one of those. They're in the cup with the charcoal stuff. <laughs> Here it is. All right. This might be a, a little bit tiny. I don't, I don't know if you want to use that one there. I love my, uh, I have X-Acto blade. It's a little metal, a little metal X-Acto blade. Like, and it has a super nice rounded edge. This might be too small because it might be, might be a little too sharp. We'll see. All right, so we'll take this little stylus here and we're gonna push it. Oh, look at that, and you can see the stitching. That's good stuff right there. And we're, I'm not gonna cut on this side of the line. I'm gonna try to cut on this side so that if I do, if I get a little bit, you know, if I go above this, I can just always take another piece of tape and just put it right there. This one, I don't wanna mess with it because you'll leave some tape, not fun. Not a fun time. I 
think I'm gonna paint these, so I'll just leave this here too. See, that's a, that's a little bit too sharp. So you don't wanna to push too hard because then you'll just tear your tape and you don't want that. Slow down. Slow it down. And people can tell when you when you take your time and and prep your prep your stuff. People will complain on videos. Oh my gosh, why do you take like? You know what? Tomorrow's gonna come. Do it right today, or you're gonna have to do it again tomorrow. Why, why do it when you can be baking another pair tomorrow? You know what I'm saying? Mommy. All right, so I'm gonna cut this. Remember, I wanna cut just on the outside of this line. And this tape is a little thicker, so you have to push a little bit harder and that's why I don't want to put any pressure on this side because I don't want to cut into that leather. Let's see if it's if it's cutting. Always make sure it's cutting first before you. There you go. Look at that. Perfect. I'm just taking my time. It's always easier to. Uh, To touch up this stuff than it is this stuff if you if you're painting on this side because this paint is it's kind of it's not like Posca pins it's not like it's opaque and you can just put a dot and then there it is you're, you've, you've you know cleaned up that spot it's a little transparent so it takes a little longer to fix overlaps or tape that's that's uh, been not pulled up look at there very nice oh you can see where my hand was dirty right there I need to wash my hands Uh, sorry about that. I know that camera angles probably let me just switch it. So I know you guys don't need to see all those camera angles <laughs> You don't need to see my face while talking <coughs> Sorry about that y'all yeah. All right, bless you Thanks. All right, now just push your tape down make sure you've got it all nice and oh I forgot about the backside there And if you feel like you're pushing a, you know, if you feel like, man, I swear I was cutting, get a new blade. Always have a nice, sharp blade. Always take your time. Want to make sure you get every line, every little crease. take this tape and just put one big piece around it right here so we know all this is taped up you can you can paint the soles of these shoes they say not to um, because they crack if you if you're wearing them if you're not gonna wear these if you're gonna spend two three four hundred dollars on a custom pair of shoes and you know you're not going to wear them, let the artist know so they can paint the entire thing. Some people like to have them as, as pieces of artwork. You know? You have a thousand dollar pair of artwork. 
I do. Alright. Alright, so this one shouldn't take as long, but I'm not going to be doing too much talking, just describing what I'm doing, probably. <laughs> Let's do this first because I want to be able to have this done. That means Bowie's underneath. Oh no, he's in the bedroom, it sounds like. That's a weird. It's <laughs> a weird little mark. What's he doing? Is he playing with the cat? <laughs> I didn't know if that was a seizure. Did you get a kiss cat? Did you get a kiss cat? Let's go get him. Get him. Get Sorry if I move. He does not want to go. Alright, we'll just do that. And do not leave this tape on your soles because it will leave sticky residue. Like as soon as you get done painting, if you know you're done painting any any more airbrush or whatever, take this take this bottom masking off um, anywhere that you have it because it will stick to your shoe. I did those, uh, I'm going to have to redo those black ones just because I'm not a fan of how I put some doler on there. And... Uh, it uh, made it very dull and I didn't like it, but I noticed that this tape left a little residue, which I'm not very happy about. He's in, he's in chasing fly mode. Hey! Psst. Oh my god. He doesn't even realize where he's at. And oh, little girl cat went on a window ledge today. That was not very fun for me. Although I know that cats... Is that window open? No. I know cats can survive from pretty high falls, but... I don't want to test it. <laughs> it's about a 15 foot drop from here to the cement and I don't want my cat to hurt himself. Rebecca, check it out. All right, I, I take it that you're new. Yeah, we have a, uh, it's ATDs, apostrophe S, uh, poor people. Just gotta answer the question and join right in. It's easier if you find, uh, put light source coming in at it so that you can see the crease easier. If you're, if you're looking at it head on, you really can't see it. There's nowhere to judge where that, where the line is. So, and normally I cut this way, but this tape is easier to cut this way to be able to see it. So I'm going to cut this way.
Babe, can I just quiz them and see if maybe they know what, what we're talking about for what we posted in fate and ATD? Babe? Can I just quiz them and see if they know what those names were? So if you guys noticed, we I posted in uh, ATD's Poor People last night. I posted it late just so that people that were up late could see it and or so that um, it would just kind of not get lost but just kind of you know go down in the in the news feed um, but we put some names up <clears throat> for something that we're doing And we were just wondering if you guys noticed any of those names or what they stood for. Do you need a list of names? No. They should they should know it. Have you got have you guys seen the names? Vamp says I do. Thanks, vamp. Let people go. <laughs> Bowie, what did you... That's not even yours, I bet, is it? No, it is. Nope, it's a spring. He just took the spring. Shady little boy. Shady little guy. All right, so let's put one more piece of tape around this. Fell her here. We bought, we bought, they bought those labels. Saw it, but didn't know. Vamp. Yeah. Burger Star doesn't have a Facebook. Well, you better get on that. You don't have to though. You 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 keep up with it here. If you're on our mailer, you'll know. If uh, if you're not, you should subscribe to our email address. Newsletter. Newsletter. Um it won't spam your inbox. Erica says she won't. She promises not to spam your inbox. And if Bowie's being cute. You know what? I wonder if you can cut this. Like, if you can put this down. I don't know, though. I don't... Yeah, I think it will cut it jagged. I don't want to do it. I don't want to risk it. Alright, where's the here? I'm just gonna read them. I'm gonna read you guys the names. I'm gonna read you some words. Mistress of Evil, Wicked Stepmother, Sea Witch, Red Queen, Mother Knows Best, Dalmatian Obsession, and Bad Apple. We're just going to go ahead and leave it at that. What do they all have in common? What do they all have in common? 
comment below. <clears throat> I'm just gonna. I'm saying in the membrane. Ah, <sighs> this up close is killing me. Disney villains. <laughs> we couldn't use their actual names. We didn't. We, we thought. Um, how cool would it be to name something? Either a song or a movie character. And then I thought, why doesn't she come up with some kind? I don't, I don't know Disney characters. So we thought. Movie villains, Disney movie villains. Especially since the name of the series is Two Face. Yeah. My light came on. You ask them what their favorite of the names is. What what is uh, what y'all's favorites of the names so far? Secondary question. What should our next series be named after? Well, are we telling them what it is? No, it's a series. A series of what? Well, they'll know on the 31st or the 1st, whichever. Whichever comes first. As soon as I get the label done, I'm going to put them on the website. I know, but I don't know, like, when normally when those come in, like, they don't, ever, they don't come in, like, normally during the daytime. They come in, like, at the end of the day. But you never know. Mistress of Evil, Sea Witch, Mistress of Evil, Bad Witch. That's a long time you're teasing. Another new pet? Question mark. <laughs> no, it's not another new. We are full up. Grammy Mimi. Is that a new name? Are you new to this? I love Grammy Mimi. Grammy Mimi. That's a cute name. Welcome, Grammy Mimi. I don't know if you're new or not. The name is new to me. Every time I see a new name that that uh, looks new to me, I, I like to give it a shout out. Give you a little shout out. Say hello. Say welcome.
I'm not gonna leak it. No leaking. Well, how does Vamp know? Oh, that is not good. I do not want to leave that there. Another what? <laughs> Listen to that. Do you hear that growl? That's that's Cujo probably growling at one of the kittens. He's so mean. He's such a little grumpy bear. Cujo, where? Hey, girl cat, why don't you try to stay inside? Cool? Cool. All right. 
everything taped off? I think so. Like, I don't want to forget anything. <laughs> So now, what we're going to do, I'm going to take some of this blue paint. parts that we're going to do a fade on, we're going to paint them light blue. I might want to make this a little bit lighter blue. This might, this, this stuff dries, dries pretty dark. I think I want to make it a lighter shade of blue. I, Nene, I, I actually don't mind taping stuff up, like I said. Like, I, I, I enjoy it because I know the more time I spend taping off, correcting, you know, cutting the lines nice and smooth and even and taking my time, it's just going to turn out that much more. You know, it's just going to, it's going to be that much more nicer, cleaner, less cleanup, you know, after I'm done. And this is, this stuff is called Angela's leather paint. It's acrylic leather paint. I'm gonna pour a little bit in here. I know there's not that. And I'm gonna put a little bit of white, just, just to tone this down a little bit. Let's see if that's enough. to keep this if we make too much of it I might want to spray this on if I have to make so much I might have to spray this on Yeah, don't get paint on me now. <laughs> Thank you, Nene. Let's see here. Let's see if we can tell the difference. Can you guys tell the difference? a little bit lighter I like that this dries pretty a little bit darker than you know what it looks and I want this to be a nice soft light blue <laughs> 
You guys should see Erica over there. She looks so cute with her glasses on. Like cute, like hot cute. <laughs> Yeah. We learn the hard way. What does that have to? Do? Yeah. If you're talking about taping up, if you're talking about prepping. Normally, you only do it once because it's not fun wasting materials. You know, the stuff is not cheap. I don't like to waste you guys' time when I when I do stuff like this. I feel like if it doesn't come out, I'm like, oh my god, I would just wasted y'all's time. At the same time, you got to see a mess up. You got to see what not to do, um, what to do. So, you know, it's I guess it's kind of a win-win. It depends on how you look at it. I look at it positive way. All right, so I'm gonna try. I'm just gonna paint. I'm gonna paint on real quick just to see what. Um, that is not the same. Let's see if uh, if this is opaque enough, which it might be because I put that white in there, so it might it might be a little more opaque than. What I'm used to because I know that you have to put a couple a couple uh, a couple coats on and I love to use this angle brush like this this is an old brush too I've had this for a while um, to get into corners like this like if you just had just a regular you know, flush, a flush or a, a flush, a straight or a flat is what it's called. You wouldn't be able to get into the corners. And you want to do, you want to try to get an even coat over it. You don't, you don't want to put a lot on because it, it'll just, it only puts down enough, enough for it to be uh, that first color. So. Always try to put a nice smooth coat down. So that when you go back over it, you're not just, uh, you're not taking the paint. Well, I guess you kind of are taking the paint off if you go back over it. Just so that it dries semi even without too many, uh, what do you call it? You see that? Like you literally all you only need to go over it one time and just let it set. Cause if you keep painting over it, unless you're getting rid of your streaks, your paint lines, there's no use. So <clears throat> I'll show you what what I'm gonna do. I'm just I'm gonna try. I'm gonna put some paint on here. Get this excess off. really shouldn't do that I'm just gonna put one line one line and I'm just gonna try to put one solid line like this Because if, if I go back over that, it's just going to take the paint up. And I don't want that to happen. That's a nice color blue right there, isn't it? I'm just gonna do get rid of that paint line that one see it goes on a little streaky so there's nothing you can do about that
look at that. That looks nice. All right, so we're going to go around this toe. And this stuff dries pretty quick. It's kind of hot in here, so... I'm being careful not to paint on this side, which it, I didn't want to tape this off because it's going to get covered with gold leaf. So you're not even going to see it or, you know, it get painted. So I wasn't worried about that. But at the same time, I shouldn't be worried about doing this so, you know, delicately. But it's just me being a painter because I know that it's just going to get gold leafed over. trying to make all these lines smooth. I, I, I know that it's not going on in one layer, so I'm not worried about that. I just want to get rid of any paint globs. I'm not worried about that. You can see that. That just happened, so I'm going to let that dry. Make sure I want to leave that. Uh, nay, nay, once this is um, dry to the touch, I can paint right over it and it'll make it nice and opaque. This stuff is awesome about that. You can put two or three or four layers down, however many you want. Um, and uh, it looks amazing. I've actually painted an entire shoe. I did that. Remember I did those, I started those shoes with... Uh, with the donut theme for Erica, I, I started those live. And I really didn't like him. I don't think she really liked him too much. Um, you don't think I, won't like I painted over those. <laughs> That's what those purple and gold ones were. This paint just seeps right into this leather. Um, it doesn't crack or peel off. Who are you talking to? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> are we still alive? Are we good? <laughs> So, does anybody have any big plans for 4th of July? You guys staying home, gonna buy some fireworks, pop them in the front yard. You're gonna go see some family. What is up with the 4th of July?
You gotta love when people always say, why do you guys charge so much? Or, you guys charge too much for shipping? Or, I could get it for the same price at this place. Well, you sure could. And we always tell people, go right ahead. You can get one thing from, from one company or you can get 10 things from us and pay one shipping rate and get it, this, get it shipped out the same day, if not the next, depending on how busy we are or if we're in the studio. <laughs> it's like, I'm sorry, I don't have any control over shipping. You live where you live. If it weighs a little bit, I'm sorry. Ooh, I think I like this color. I'm digging that. Ooh, I'm going cross-eyed. Bonfire. I love bonfires. All right. Trusty heat gun. I'm going to put this around the corner so I don't dry that off too much. I might let this dry and paint the inside. I think I want to paint the inside. Or should I? No, I think I should leave it. I think it looks nice. Because I think I'm going to put gold leaf on this back part. Come to Orlando. Hey, Cujo. He's so he's so impatient with those cats. <laughs> they just want to go by him, and he's like, nah. Yeah, I mean, if you're in, if you're in, if you're in Australia and you need to buy some a color obsession or, or just resin, by all means, it's cheaper. It's probably faster <laughs> if you get it from Australia. You know, we'll tell people about other other places they can get stuff. You know, we there's enough to go around, y'all. <laughs> you know. I think I'm going to spray the inside of these. I think I'm going to paint it white so it gets a nice layer. And then I'm going to put a little bit, um, let's see here. You can put, you can put this uh, too thin. Shake well before using Mitch Angelo's paint. Airbrush use mix one part, two part thin. Ah, okay. So 
put this in so it thins it out and it, it it'll uh, you know what I actually have some adhesion promotion didn't I get some of that where's my adhesion promotion at a glazer I know I bought some here we go nope, that's duller I don't want that Flat black, I don't want that. Is this adhesion? Adhesion promotion. So, <clears throat> put this in, and it wants to... Actually, I'll probably put this in with this color. Because this is the color I'm going to fade. The shoes. So maybe that'll stick good to that. This is a great color, right, y'all? I like it. So I have white. I'm just gonna spray. I'm gonna spray the insides of these white so I can paint them that light blue. You think that'll look good if I paint the insides of this white blue? Oh, my phone's ringing. Sock. Sorry, sock. I'm live. Really? Hold on, y'all. Sorry. I think this is more transparent though I think but I know this is already white <clears throat> Let's see. well thank you booger have a good night get some rest happy Father's Day um, I'm gonna spray these white so that there'll be a layer of paint when I get when I when I put a, another layer like this light blue color. Um, I think it'll look nice because there's no color like this with these Air Force Ones. These are gonna look awesome. Um, I like to make these look different. You know, I, I want them to be different. So I'll spray a layer of white so it'll have a nice layer of paint, and then when I paint the light blue, it won't take as much. Because if I try to paint this light blue color in here it's just gonna soak up and soak up so I think I'll just do that with uh, with this white too soft isn't that what I put in, that put in there oh so keep calling you then <laughs> so I told my friend sock he called me he's probably wanting to do something I can donate some Yeezys or Jordans, Kobe's. I go, sorry bro, I'm live. He goes, oh, so keep calling you then? <laughs> Give me some Jordans, bro. Got me some Jordans on the way. Kind of psyched about that, but if they would ever get here, ordered them from Champs. From a hometown. All right, so I don't want to use this airbrush. I'm going to use this one because it has a little bit bigger nozzle. I set it up, you guys, so I can have two airbrushes on this side and two airbrushes over there, which I'm very excited about. All right, so I have some already mixed up white in here. Let's see how opaque this is. This looks pretty good. No, no. Let's see. Let's test it on this. That looks pretty good for a white, right? All right. So I'm gonna fill this up. Put my lids back on. Where is my lid to the airbrush? Thank you. 
All right. Nope, here it is. Always put your lids on. <laughs> you don't want to, you don't want to, whoops, unless it doesn't want to go on. Is this not the right one? Oh, there we go. All right, yep. All right, so I'm just going to spray this. It's going to be difficult to see, but um, just as long as I know where it's at. I just want to put a layer of white down. So when this dries, that light blue will have something to stick to. You can kind of see it. See, when you customize something, do it all the way. Do it 100%, y'all. Like, make something different. Make people want to be like, where did you get those from? Hey, come here. Let me see those. Where did you get those from? You know? Makes you look better. Makes you feel better. Makes that person that bought them say, you know what, I'm so glad I paid for this and supported that artist and now I have some one of a kind sneakers. Go over that, on the outside. And see, don't be afraid because this is gonna get painted anyways. So, I don't need to worry about that. This is gonna have gold leaf over it, so I don't have to worry about that. I think I wanna put my mask on, just because. I think I wanna be safe. Where's my little mask? I have a little 95 mask. All right. That's better. I'm sure that she'll wear these. Um, I'm sure that she'll wear these. This is for a friend of ours slash subscriber to the channel. Um, I think that's enough. Let's just, we don't want to oversaturate it. There's no need to put a bunch of paint on there when it's not going to dry, so. Oh my gosh. Nothing, my. So that guy that I was talking to, he's like, I'm gonna start a website for my son to sell shoes. This is his son's bedroom. Holy shnikes, I might have to. Holy cow. Wow. All right, so now I'm just gonna spray these. See, it's going on. No need to no need to oversaturate your shoe because then it's gonna take longer to dry. Just get what you need to get done here. Get your dryer out. He said that's an old picture too. Wow. Turn this down a little bit. I don't want to burn these.
we'll put a little heat on these and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go put another coat of the light blue you know what actually I could probably just spray that light blue that's what I think I'm gonna do because I'm gonna spray the inside of these shoes as well I have quite a bit here and I might as well spray it because what that'll do is that'll give me a nice even coat as well you know <clears throat> and that way I can just start spraying this and get get in there and hopefully that'll be even nice and even coat Let's do one more coat of white and then we'll, because I don't want to dump this back in there. That's going to be too difficult. Put this, we're gonna dump this back in here. There's not a lot left in there. Uh, this stuff is, is, uh, is a durable leather. It's meant for customizing. It's meant for coloring shoes and leather. Um, this company has been around for over a hundred years. I'm pretty sure. Um, it's a, it's a legit acrylic leather paint. Like it doesn't crack every single person except for one person doesn't use this because he's probably sponsored by another leather paint. Um, there we go. Um, it's a legitimate really nice leather uh, paint I have a pair that I've painted I haven't worn them yet but I keep checking on them and they look as new as the day that I did them No, this doesn't crack or peel. And I put acrylic finish over it and then I put a spray mat over it so that it has a UV protectant and it's nice and protected. Not not a not a big deal. It's it's this is awesome paint. All right, so I'm just going to put this in here. I'm going to spray this. I'll pr you know what? I'm going to add a little too thin cuz I don't I don't know how that's gonna run through my airbrush. Oh. 
You put the tooth in in there to uh, to make it thin, so you can run it through your airbrush. It's nice right there. That's a good. That's a good consistency. I'm not trying to thin it out. I don't want to make it. I don't want to make it. Uh, because remember, I made this color. <laughs> I don't want to, uh, I don't want to use it all because uh, I made it. So I don't want this two different colors if I have to. So I'm going to, I'm going to spray the outside of the shoe first to get all that done because I don't. I could have enough in there, but I don't know because I don't know how much it's going to take to spray the inside of these shoes. Yeah, let's put these here. All right. And I'm just going to lightly spray a coat over these. You don't need a lot because this is already blue, so. I'm just going to put a light coat over this. Cuz this is going to be this is going to be a a fade as well, so I'm just trying to make this all even. So I have a nice even coat to paint on. See, I'm just kind of like almost spray painting it. I'm not, you can't really put like a, whoops. I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm just kind of like spritzing it on so it's, it's kind of tiny layers. Because if I just try to blast it on, it's just, it'll just probably go on there and drip and I don't want that. So I'm just kind of spritzing it on to make this whole thing a nice even coat. You see how easy that goes on? Because I painted that white. All right, I'm going to show you guys this heel. See that heel? Look how streaky that is. So what I'm going to do is bring this closer so y'all can see the action. I'm just going to spritz it on. I'm just going to, when I mean spritz it, I'm just going to, this is just air. This is my airbrush, just air. And then I'm going to pull back like this for paint. And I'm gonna pull back, push forward, pull back, push forward. But I'm gonna keep the air on the entire time so I know right when I pull back, the paint's gonna come out. See, this is just air. I'll show you here. This is just air, and then when I pull back, the paint comes out. So paint, 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 but it, the air is on so I know that that paint's gonna come out. See, I'm just kind of lightly layering it. And I'm, and I'm using this very sparingly. See that? You don't see those streaks anymore. Super clean. Again with this side. See those streaks there. And yes, I will do an airbrush class, everybody. I will set it up to where uh, either you buy an airbrush from us. <laughs> I know where they can get them for pretty cheap. We'll just maybe sell a kit. And then we can do an airbrush. 101 airbrush, the way I taught myself basically how to paint.
See, and when you do this back and forth, when you just put paint where you want the paint, you, you use less paint. <clears throat> Now this stuff is gonna be, this stuff soaks into this. It soaks into all, I mean, imagine, this soaks into leather. Can you imagine what it soaks into this sock material? Like, it'll soak in and it's not coming out. So now that I have, whoop, nope, I gotta do this shoe. And if it doesn't feel like it's covering fast enough, just move on. Just put a layer down and move on so that you know that little part's drying. You're just gonna put, you're just putting layers down. You're not trying to cover the whole thing in one little spray. If you wonder what kind of airbrush I'm using, this is an Iwata Eclipse. Gravity feed. Um, because this, this stuff, um, it's so, uh, it's it's not transparent it's it i mean it's pretty opaque stuff but if you start white i mean it would have been the same way it would have been almost splotchy because you're starting off in such a white background that you can't just put you know you can't put <laughs> that thick layer down so it would have it would have probably taken a lot longer than just painting it putting a solid piece down and then putting the airbrush down over it It just seems like it, it's, it's better doing this because there's already a layer down, you know? No, they don't, they, it doesn't crack. This paint, everybody that's used it that I've watched, this paint does not crack. It says it on the bottle, it says it on the, uh, on their uh, website. And everybody that uses it on YouTube swears by it.
You know, see how much nicer it looks when I paint the inside of these? Just imagine with white socks on. Ooh, that's gonna look nice. I've seen people take the soles out and put their custom ones in. That would be fun, but I don't have any custom soles. <laughs> Look at there. So one more coat as I got enough. See if you use your airbrush paint sparingly, you can have enough to go around a couple times. Thanks, Nene. Yeah, I, I put it would. This would be a little bit darker, um, because this stuff dries pretty blue, like it it dries pretty dark. So I put a bunch of white in it to soften it up, because I knew that uh, I knew I was putting a darker blue down. So I wanted really to make sure that this was a nice light blue to pop. And see, now because I didn't tape this off, I'm getting to paint the inside of this stitch line. So when I put that gold down, all this would be nice and blue instead of white, you know? I think that's good. I think we got everything covered. All right. Look at that. I even have some left. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm going to do with this now. I probably should just, let's just spray the more inside of the shoe. Might as well use it. We got it.
I'm gonna have to touch these tongues up because I got paint on it. But I think that'll be all right. Alright, so that does dry up a little bit. You know what? We can use this color to maybe paint some of the outside of the box. I should have mixed that in one of these bottles, but what are you going to do? And all I'm using is just water to clean this out. What next? What next, ladies and gents? Well, ladies, no gents. Periwinkle, I hope. I'm hoping this is a periwinkle. <laughs> oh, I know what I need. I need my little turning thing. Where's my little turner? forgetting about this footstool my legs going numb all right so I think what I'm gonna do I think this might be a little bit too um, thin I'm not sure we're gonna see here we're gonna check this out it might be too thin Oh, I think this will be perfect. <clears throat> this is what that will be next to. <clears throat> Ooh, got a piece of cookie in my throat. Choke me up there. All right, what are you guys talking about? All right. So all I'm gonna do <clears throat> is put uh, this light, this dark blue fade up. Probably stop right right about the top of the Nike symbol. We'll see. We'll see how this works. We'll see how we'll see how opaque this is. And if you guys are wondering, I am wearing a mask. If that's what you sound, I just spraying this stuff. I don't 
I'm not familiar with it, so I don't want um, to be breathing it in. I'm sure that you're not probably supposed to breathe it in if you're airbrushing it. So, I'm wearing a mask. All right. So, should I turn it sideways or should I put it up a little higher? Let's do that. Let's put it up a little higher. Let's get some tape. <clears throat> Where's my tape at? Where did I... Oh. All right. Got my little... Let's do this here. Let's bring this down so you guys can see what I be doing. Oh, that might be a little bit too dark. Is that too dark, y'all? That's good. There we go. That'll be good. All right. I'm not going to put a lot in here because all I'm going to be doing is fade from the bottom <clears throat> right here just up Woo, I'm scared all right This could be like under the sea. You can hear that. <clears throat> you can tell that it's a little bit thick. Like I said, this stuff dries pretty dark. So I'm just going to do this one really light coat right here, right over the toe. I'm not trying to cover up that whole toe. And here you can see it. It's like my airbrush is working a little over time to get this paint out. So it might be a little bit thicker than what I like, but at the same time, that's kind of good because then it, it's kind of sputtering out a little bit thicker paint so I don't have to go over it as much. I know it's really hard to tell that's a, that's a fade. <clears throat> but I'm just going gonna, gonna to do this a little bit more and then I'm going to let it set and paint the other one because this stuff dries dark and I don't, I don't want this to be covering that all this light blue I mean you can tell the difference there and because I'm painting in such bright area it's gonna look like oh man it's not dark enough because you're you're in such bright a room it'll be way too it'll be way too dark you um, that's like I wouldn't necessarily want to you know a fully lit room when doing a a portrait with somebody with a lot of shadow because you're thinking man this could be darker because there's so much light in the room <clears throat> and then you put it in a setting where there's less light and it looks way too dark and vice versa <clears throat> Hold on. 
All right, back to the painting. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys a little bit brighter light here. This one looks a little darker, which I like. <coughs> so let's go over this one just a little bit. And I'm not really necessarily painting directly on this. I'm painting below this so that it kind of goes up and hits this bottom part. Because if I were to try to spray all this, all that overspray would just go up and darken all that light blue. Because I want this edge to be nice and dark. <clears throat> be able to, to transition into light blue You can see I'm painting the tape. And if anything, I have some I have some light blue paint in there. I can hit that with a dust of, of, of that light blue and, and darken, or I'm sorry, and lighten that if I wanted to. even put a little bit darker blue in here just to hit this bottom part. 
to make it a little bit even darker fade. <clears throat> I might have a piece of cat hair in my throat. <clears throat> I just, I've been eating this cookie, these peanut butter cookies. All right. I think that's good. I think I like that. <clears throat> I think I'm going to darken up that blue <clears throat> just at the bottom part right here just to make it more of a transition. license is out. <laughs> Sorry. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, that light blue in here and hit it just a little bit. I might have I might have brought that up just a little bit too much. What do y'all think? You you guys like that fade? Just pause on me. Hello. What did I do? Why did I? What happened? Did my camera just shut off? Oy vey. <laughs> Come on. Did I pinch my... I don't know, the overhead. Yes. How did that do that? Disconnected from the extension. Yeah. All right, the back. No. Hold on, y'all. Sorry about that. Yeah, my uh, <clears throat> the camera got disconnected. Sorry, I have to I have to turn it off and turn it back on. There we go. I gotta do the settings. It got caught up in the arm part of it. Sorry about that, y'all.
There you are. Alright. So what do y'all think of the fade? Do you think I need to bring this down just a little bit? I think this one is perfect. You can tell the difference. It's a little darker on this side. I don't mind it though. It's not like you're going to see both sides at the same time. And it looks like it's a good fade. I like it. I'm not... It'll be alright. And I think it looks funky because I have all this tape on here. So it's going to look darker because this is all taped up. So I wouldn't even worry about that. So I'm going to spray some acrylic finish on this. I'm going to spray some of this stuff on here. There's paint in there. How did I get paint? How did I wash that out? I think I will hit it with a little bit of light blue. I have some left, so I might as well use it, right? I'm just going to hit this right here a little bit with this light blue. Oh yeah. That looks nice. And I'm just going to hit this right over the top. Can you guys imagine making some like ocean pour shoes? How nice would that look? Alright. That looks nice. It's a very it's very subtle and I think you'll be able to tell once I take this tape off. See that overspray, that dark overspray goes up a little bit and it definitely like, it, you can tell. So good to just come back a little bit of light so you can get that nice fade. I think it looks nice. I think that's just a little bit blown out too. Let me fix that for y'all. As you can tell, I get very... Let me clean this airbrush out. I'm gonna put some of that acrylic finisher in there. I should I should probably untape all this because I took all that acrylic finisher off of there.
You know what? I think I'm going to wait to spray that on there because I'm going to have to put this gold leaf down. And I'm going to have to tape this off, right? I really don't think it's necessary, but why not? I'd be richer if I <laughs> we appreciate you guys shopping with us hanging out and not a lot of people hang out for how long we've been live now two hours three hours two hours 30 minutes it's a Sunday what are you gonna do all right so I think I'm gonna do the gold leaf on this now That's funny because I've, I've actually put tape on here after I painted this and it didn't take it off. But it's like, <laughs> I, put, I put so much paint down, I don't, I don't want to, it's almost like I might want to, I might want to wait to tape these off. But the thing is, I'm going to be painting the, the, uh, the sizing on, so I don't think that's, it's not going to stick to this. The, the, what do you call it? I think this is dry. Oh well, we'll find out. Let's just take it off so I can see what we got going on here. Yeah, I got a little paint on the tongue. I should have taped the tongue off first. See that? But that would be cool to do it like that, right? Like little speckles. Just wait, that's gonna be gold. That's gonna look sharp. So since I'm not doing any more paint, I can tape off I can take this bottom part off. Whenever you take the bottom Part off always pull away and down not away and up because you never know you could be some of it could be stuck to the paint and that is not good see I got a little bit because I got um, a little bit on that brush and painted over it and it scraped some of the paint off and went underneath the tape look how clean that is you guys that's just Not one touch up on the sole. Yeah, Except for right here where it got on that part. I love this. Go leaf here, go leaf here, go leaf on the back, and on this stripe. I think that'll be amazing. Prep is everything. My recommendation is tape the tongue off first because the tongue is such a hassle.
looks nice. I like it. I can feel that sticky from that tape. I think what it is is when you put the heat on it, it doesn't, that tape wants to leave the sticky residue. this with some heat so we know everything is dry Does Jeff, does Nike have trademark on you using the? Well, I'm not using it. I'm just painting the shoe. I'm not saying um, this is mine. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just painting the shoe. If anything, I'm selling more shoes for them. To be customized I'm I'm not I'm not saying this is my shoe this is Nike shoe I'm just customizing it all right so what I think I'm gonna do is pretty sure this is all dry like this is I'm just gonna put some acrylic finisher on it and be good with it. I think I'm gonna let them dry overnight though. I don't I don't think I wanna try to tape these off and put the uh, put the gold leaf on there. Cause I'm afraid if I try to put this gold leaf on, it's gonna stick to this paint. But you never know. Yeah. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> you can't. They can't say anything for me painting the shoe. I don't know how that would be. Like, if I say. I'm making a Nike shoe and painting it, that would be one thing. I'm gonna put this acrylic finisher on here. And then I'm gonna spray uh, matte spray on it. Ooh, I need to fix that there though. I gotta fix, I gotta touch this up. One little bit right here. Still a little blown out, isn't it? Is my chat... Am I offline? What happened? Sorry about that, y'all. My chat went off. <laughs> All right. Fix that. 
One touch up. That's pretty unheard of right there, y'all, if, if you ask me. <clears throat> All right, so. I'm gonna put this acrylic finisher on here. I'm gonna spray it. So that I can get a nice little protective coat on this. Let me put my mask on. Let's see here, we'll change a couple angles here for y'all. Move this in a little closer so you guys can see this shoe. Um, all right, I'm gonna put this stuff on here. Acrylic finisher, uh, and I think it leaves it a little shiny, but not to worry. Um, I have some, I have spray, matte spray, and I have some stuff called Dolor, which you only need to use a little bit, but I'm afraid to use that because I used too much last time and it looked really bad. So I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to hold off on that. I'm just going to spray this acrylic finisher on here. I'm going to spray it over the whole shoe only because I, I hit parts of that with that acetone and I, I don't want that to, uh, mess with the shoe off I'm not going to be painting it so I want to restore that so don't worry about this top toe box that's going to have gold leaf on it And the Nike symbol and the back part here is going to have gold leaf as well. And see, I'm glad I put this on before. And I'm gonna spray the matte spray on it.
because I don't I don't want to put this gold leaf on and then I did this on the last ones and then spray matte spray over that gold leaf because then it'll get dull and you you don't want it to get dull right so I'm gonna spray this matte spray over this so it takes off some of this sheen and it gives it a little bit more protection And then I'm just gonna let these set overnight and I'll put the gold leaf on them tomorrow. Better off waiting, you know? So I'm gonna spray this matte spray. I'm gonna open up my window first. this on and I'm just gonna give these a light little coat and when I say light I mean light so I'm gonna put a different cap on here this is this looks like a thin cap but I'm gonna put I'm gonna put one of these on. This is a great cap to spray minimal paint, but very evenly. And, and if you wanna get like nice thin lines, if you're doing some artwork, this is a perfect cap. We call it the Klaus Thin. And what I'd like to do, take your adapter off, twist your cap on, put this back on and just lightly twist it. Spray that away from you. And there you go. And this spray is a really nice even coat. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm gonna stand back from this, as you can see. I'm not, I don't want to get up close because I'm pretty sure if you, even though it says matte. When it dries, it's a little bit shiny because there's something, you know, it's on it. I'm gonna move my computer out of the way. So I'm gonna sit back a little bit. And I'm just gonna lightly put a little bit on here. Because I want this to be matte. I don't want it to be shiny or satin. I'm glad I went over that with that light blue. You can see it. See, I'm just barely pushing on it. Barely pushing on it. There we go. Nice and matte. Now we got a nice UV protectant over that. Right? This stuff is UV protectant. Can't get up that close. <laughs> but there we have it. Let's put this lid on before we spill this. Put 
put these all these guys back where they're supposed to be. These colors up here. Two of them, get the blue away. All right. Throw that out. I think we're good. I'm proud of these. Nice and clean. And then, so what I'll do tomorrow is I'll probably get the paint pen, a gold paint pen, and paint this gold. Paint this gold, paint these gold. I'll probably come down and do a drip on just the outsides, just because it'll make it different. It's not like it's flip flop and, you know, trying to do too much. I think this will look nice. Do you guys think I should do the red? Don't they say put red down before you do gold leaf? Yeah. We're gonna do a test tomorrow. We'll we'll do a test. Thanks, JJ. All right. Take this off. All right. I think I'm good for today. I don't want to. I don't want to do too much. I don't want to over stimulate the leather. <laughs> you know. <clears throat> so there we have it. Very nice, clean shoe so far. Not bad for two hours work. Gold leaf won't take too long tomorrow. That should be awesome. Um, now, I don't know if I should bring this up, <laughs> but what if I did the inside Nike with this? Just because custom You think that'll look good with that? I don't know. I think it might be a little bit too much. I definitely know I'm gonna put the, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna put this on the Air Force One badge on the shoelace. Um, that's the other surprise. I got some shoelaces for these. All of the yes. You guys, I have so I have orange and magenta and purple and green and like this very nice like champagne leaf. I can imagine doing like a rainbow just just doing gold leaf shoes. Woo! I'm thinking of putting it on the inside swoop here. Because the outside one will be gold with drips. That's going to be fun because I'm going to have to paint those drips with the sizing. And that's going to have to be perfect. Like, that's going to be scary doing that. Um, and then I'm going to take that blue and put them, uh, put them on these little things here. Those go on your shoestrings. That's what I did with the other ones, with the purple ones. I put the purple leaf on here, and it looked good. But there we go. I love them. You guys are awesome. Thanks for giving me support and advice and having fun on a Sunday. That was fun. Um, I just got it on Amazon. I just, I, I was going down a little, 
a little art art um, Amazon hole and gold leaf, silver leaf, black leaf. I have black leaf, champagne, uh, all of that. Whew. Um, you can, but I don't. I don't. I want this to be like shiny gold. Um, so I'll pro I'll probably paint. I'll probably use gold instead of red while I do the drips, because I don't want any red showing through on that blue. Yeah, like the blue back here. I didn't think about that. And and it actually goes over this. Did I put some over there? I thought I did. Yeah. This is all paint pen. This side is paint pen. And it doesn't look right. This is gold leaf. <laughs> that gold leaf is still shiny. I like that. So. We'll see. Thank y'all. You guys are awesome. Um, Holly's Art House, apparently when you put red paint down before you do gold leaf, it reflects better if, if, it, if it either, um, if you get a little crack or, I, I honestly, I, I don't know that. Thank you, Evelyn. Um, I guess it's just a better... I've never seen anybody do it, and I watch a lot of videos, um, but I do watch a lot of, like, I watch a lot of gold leaf videos and, and uh, the gentlemen that make the glass signs. I've never seen them put red down, though, ever. Yeah, I do. Thanks, Rebecca. All right, you guys are awesome. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to clean this area up. This drives me crazy. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm on, uh, starting a painting as well I've been wanting to do a portrait so I might get on here on Pinterest and have a look at some uh, ideas that I have so um, you guys are awesome thank you so much read all of our stuff here um, be kind in one another you never know what somebody's going through answer a question somebody ask it just answer it it's so much easier than not in your brain I think somebody asks you a question you're like nah. an hour later you're like I could have told I could have answered them <laughs> what how hard is that and now you're miserable at yourself because you just you didn't answer somebody's question um, yep I'll see you guys tomorrow you guys are awesome let me find my logo my logo um, so what is today? Sunday? Have a happy Sunday. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the single mothers. Um, you guys are awesome. We'll see you on Monday. Bye. <laughs>